Hi, welcome to the first episode of At The Pile with Ryan and Friends. Today I got a special guest, Gino Leonati, probably one of my oldest friends in the stunt riding world. I've known him since he was a young child of uh, 18. Yeah. Yeah, freshly 18, right? Right as I turned 18, I met you. Took me under your wing, showed me what this Harley scene was about. Started taking him to stunt shows and shit. He was uh, riding a YZ250. Yeah. Two stroke and scraping seat, folding the fender all the way back to the seat as a kid. That was like, pretty impressive. What was that, Quaid Harley Davidson when I first started doing that? Yeah, that was and the first one. Unloaded the bike and I was like, yo, get out there and ride. I had proved myself wrong that I couldn't scrape the fender and I was scraping seat pretty much. Yeah, that was, was pretty gnarly. That was wild. But on that note, this is uh, kind of get to know the guys in the group, get to know the crew. We're gonna kind of go through this from time to time. We have spare time and introduce you to another guy in the old crew out here that, you know, we're stunt riding kind of uh, really evolved out here in Arizona. It evolved in a lot of other places and a lot of other places, you know, blew it up too, but we're one of the OGs, that's for sure. It kind of started with the dudes from Unknown and then Phoenix, and then we went from there. And, uh, Gino's one of the OGs. We're gonna talk about his bikes. He's got quite the fleet. Yeah, I got six of them now. Talk six Harleys. Yeah. Six. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we know got what six. Six Holy of them. Holy shit. So how old are you now? 24. 24 years old. God damn, time flies. Dude, flies. What do you do now? I ride for a busted knuckle stunt tour. That's uh, right. With King Tony. Whoa! Really? You guys have never heard of Bust Knuckle Stunt Tour or, or King Tony. King Tony's the best. The best in the game. Jason Pullen and King Tony. Those are the... When you want to talk about real stunt riding on a Harley Davidson and the best there is, those dudes are the best. They're on another level that you can't really understand until you see them ride. Another level. And Tony is a f***ing savage, dude. Savage. Second gear drifts one-handed. Yeah. Second gear drifts. He goes into a drift hand drag while his hand's still on the ground, he takes it to a wheelie hand drag. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how the f did you do that, Tony? He's like, I don't know, I just feel it, bro. It's <laughs> insane, it comes out of a drift, one hand just cracks out, the yeah. comes right up every time. I'm like, dude, how? How like, long have you been riding with Tony? Oh, this is going on my second year with him. Yeah? Just about. That's pretty much yeah, second year. No shit. I'd say. Last year was like, because COVID and everything, so we were still linked up through COVID, but. We had all the shows through then, but it wasn't it was like officially a second year is coming on right now. How many shows are you guys doing this year? We have so many booked so far. Pretty much all through June and July, September, we're all booked up almost every weekend right now. Yeah? Yeah. We just had a three day show and then we had another show at the beginning of the year. And then a couple weeks we fly out again and go do a couple more shows and then I think I'm staying out there for a month or so. Where? In Arkansas? Arkansas yeah. Oh we'll, damn, you going out to the party? Yeah, so we're gonna go to the party and then stay probably and then bounce back and back to shows there and back. Hanging I'd love to go to that party, I'd probably fly out if I go. Yeah, we're flying out. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I think we got something going on that weekend. I'm gonna June try and 11th. get out of that shit. Be there, oh, June gonna... 11th, Rebels Den Cycles, in Benton, Arkansas. Yep, big party, he's got a flat track oh. at the shop. Like, bring your flat track bikes. Yeah. We usually race for money. Super, super dope. <laughs> I definitely want to go, and Tony's the shit, he puts on a really good time. It's fun. How'd you get into motorcycles? My dad raced ATCs out here growing up forever, and I'm an only child, Three so. wheelers? Yeah. <laughs> he, did, he did the Whiplash series out here in Arizona, growing up racing the ATCs all around the desert and stuff. Wow, that's gnarly. 250 two-stroke ones, too. Fast, dude. Fast. 250 R. Yeah, the 250 R's. Yeah, death nasty. traps, dude. My God. So I started off racing BMX, and I always had a 65 sitting in the garage and I was like, we'd ride desert with my dad on his ATC and stuff. And it started off there and then his buddy hit him up when he was like, yo, there's a race at Speed World, like come out, bring your kid and race. And 
I did my first race and I won it and I was just hooked on motocross from there on out. Yeah. And then I raced motocross from, I think I was eight years old all the way till I was like 18 when I met you. Yeah. Because I had a bad get off and I almost ripped my thumb off. So I just said, screw it, I'm gonna start having fun. And I started having fun, let me into the right people and I met him and he's like, yo, this is what the fun's like. This, you gotta be on one wheel. <laughs> yeah, the dirt bike kinda went by the wayside after he got on a Harley Davidson. I sold the dirt, sacrificed the dirt bikes, bought a Harley, this one actually right here, and then we sold more bikes and invested in the more and invested, invested, and now I got six of them now. Yeah? I got six Harleys. What do you got? I got the OG 2006 883 Sportster. How many miles is on that? At least over 120,000. Still runs. Still. And been a stunt piece pretty much its whole life. I can dude. still really it to this day. I still started up and it'll go ride. Clacks like a bitch, but man, that thing rips still. He's oh. still I can't believe he still have it. I, that's the trophy right there. I can't get rid of it. Yeah. That's the bike. It's the OG. That's the bike. There's an old video from our old shop of me building an exhaust out of a bunch of shit. Just like different head pipes and a muffler and all this stuff. And it kind of looked like a nice chrome thunderheader when it was done, but that was that was Gino's bike. That's the old Sportster right there. Yep, you built the fender and the exhaust and gave me a set of bars. So here you go. Wasn't that Tall Shane's bike originally? Yeah. That was, it was. like 6'6 or some shit right now, a little 883. Mm-hmm. The bars were huge on that thing. Oh, yeah. And then you gave me a set of yours and that thing changed the whole game. Those bars were the shit on that. They're still on it. Everything's still on it, original. What was your second bike, this Dyna? Uh, 2007, the 96, the oh, 2007 that's right. Super Glide. So I bought yep. the 07 and I stunted that thing forever. The big old motor blew the f up. Yeah, the 49 mil front end and the 17s on the back. And they're like, I think it was a big bike that I was riding. Yeah. And then I realized, I was like, yo, like this thing's huge. I don't know how I'm riding this thing. And then I <clears> bought a 2000 Super Glide and it just changed the game from there on out. And that was the bike I still have till this day that it was on tour for a minute. And now I bought a 2001 Sporty 1200S that's being built into a full stunt bike and then an 05 Dyna FXDI Super Glide. Oh really? So it's fuel injected. With full. Is, that, is that one out in Arkansas? Yeah, the Chromie. Yeah. And then the 2018 Fat Bob. That thing's dope. That was the Tony's old yeah. bike, right? Yeah. 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 I bought that fully, off. fully built. Thanks. Fully Insane. Built Fat Bob. The own one of King Tony's bikes, it's like... It's got it was, 21 on the front, right? Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. I believe so, 18, yes. 21, right? Yes. Has the SMT wheels on it. Yeah. It's nasty. It rides so smooth. It's a nice travel bike, and it's a stunt bike, too, on tour. And then, what? We got all the other bikes. The pit bikes and the groms. And bicycle. Still got your bicycle? I still got the SC bike. Still yeah, got we're going to ride bicycles on Saturday and barbecue with crib. It's it's good. Or Sunday. It's Mother's Day, but... Yeah. I mean, if you can get away, bring folks, do it if you want to. I'll be down. I should probably talk to my wife about it first, but <laughs> she doesn't know we're doing any of those things. But that's well, kind of how I run it. Hey, baby, we're going to have a barbecue. When? Today? <laughs> about, about 25 minutes. <laughs> Everyone's already on their way. Uh, can you go to the store? Oh, she loves me so much. She's a good woman. What else, man? What do you... I don't know. I don't know, man. Just living life to the fullest and having fun. I'm traveling around the world that I've never been before. Dude, it's crazy. I go to all of these shows and everybody sees this cruisy tattoo I have right here. And then they see the M8 because it has the cruisy crash bra on it. And they're like, you know cruisy? I'm like, do you know cruisy? I'm like, I know cruisy. That's Papa back at home. Like, I get the privilege to call him Papa. And then they're like, how do you do that? I'm like, oh, I met him when I was 18, sneaking me into the bar saying I need a parental <laughs> figure to be there. And he's like, yeah. this is my son right here. And I was like, that's cruisy right G there. Gino was a designated driver on the road for like, until he was 21, three years probably. Yeah. He would drive us all, we'd do shows and then just a truck, as many people as we could jam in a truck. Into the Titan. Just mobbing the town where we were at, getting wasted. And then I would bring Gino into the bar with me everywhere and I would pose as his dad. Cause in a lot of states as legal guardian, you can bring a kid in, which is horrible <laughs> parenting. But uh, <laughs> it works. So we did that shit all over the place. If not, we would sneak him in straight to the back door or whatever. The Oh yeah, we've done that plenty He would just stay sober and drive us around. Gino didn't drink or anything when he was young. I oh, no. was a sober Sally. Sober Sally racing, I don't know what happened to you, but. <laughs> <laughs> I turned 21 and you corrupted me. Got on the bike, got on the shit. We'd be fucking ripping. It was just fun, the bikes, the bikes are just a different world. I never thought I'd own six Harleys, but that'd be racing motocross, but here I am. I own six Harleys, I'm on King Tony Stunts here, busting knuckles. 
Make good money, yeah. Yeah, making good money, traveling the world to places I've never been before, meeting all these rad people, all these cool ass Harley Davidsons that I've never been to. Yeah. Just experiencing it, it's like, it's crazy. And all the like, all the East Coast love and everything, it's insane. Like, the people out there are so genuine and friendly and they've never seen shit like that before, I feel like, so. Yeah. They're just like, dude, we've never seen anything like this before. That's the coolest thing you're doing. Like, how are you even wheeling the Harley like that? Like, they're set up. You just gotta just commit to it and do it. What all you got done to the stunt bike? Well, we got the chain kit. We got Legend suspension front and back. We got the Speed King risers on it. Uh, I don't even know. I think those are thrashing bars on it. And we got your chain kit on it. Street bike Sean built the rear fender. That thing's deep, deep. We got a saddle and seat. And what cams did we put in it? Uh, 525 fueling. That's what we did. The 525 fueling cam is in it. With the Scorpion clutch, I believe. Cruise Originals K bar. Yep. Cruise Originals K bar and Delrin sliders on the back. Big Bear motor mount. And the Big Bear. Clutch. Yeah, BDL, right? Or Energy it, One, something like that. I think it was BDL. Or something like that. Yeah. 88 inch, right? Yeah. 525 cams are really, really nice in the stock 88. Fueling OE Plus cam chest. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Whole cam chest. We got the Elite levers front and Clutch, ding, ding, ding. No headlight. No headlight. Weight, rate reduction. <laughs> rate reduction, weight rate, reduction. Rate reduction. It's gotta make up for it because you got 15 feet of front brake line coiled up in the front of that thing with zip ties on it. <laughs> yeah, like I know. A, off of a bagger with 22 inch well, That's the most touchiest front brake you'll ever have on that thing. That thing just barely gotta touch it and it's right there. Yeah. It's so butter, it's crazy. Oh, Everyone's like, how is it like that? And I'm get like. Get one of those Brembo's on there. Oh, you got all that fluid in there. Yeah, it's all wrapped up in that damn cable, so it's just super tight. What about old Blue over there? Blue, so Blue's got a, that Steve O'McLaughlin painted that thing, it's super pimp. Yeah, I think it's a dope paint job. Um, I built the motor in it. It is a 103 with some big ass valves and lots of head work and lots of compression and big ass cam, and it is fast. It, it is, is way fast. fast. We've never got a dyno yet, but we need to to see what it's pushing. Yeah, it is fing fast. Because that thing sure. is super quick, so. It's all chromed out, set of our bars on there. Uh, RK bar, engine guard, saddleman, our chain drive. We got, we got legends all around on that too, right? Yeah. 12. Uh, Sony exhaust on that? Yep, the Sony exhaust. We got your derby cover on it and the air cleaner cover on it too. All them covers. All them shiny blues. Super glide. Yeah. Some flow levers. It's got our headlight relocation on it so that bearing fits right. Mm -hmm. A uh, bunch of good shit. They're built. Thanks to Cruz the Originals. But all the badass bikes I could ever ask for. That's what we do. Hell yeah. So, uh, you got anything else? I don't know. You got anything else? What do you What do you got next? What show next? Uh, we go Where are you going to be? Back to Portsmouth, Virginia. Portsmouth? Portsmouth or Portsmouth, whatever they call it. I kept getting corrected when I was out there. It's Portsmouth, but it's spelled Portsmouth. So if we have to drive there, we got to drive to Tony. That's 19 hours. Get to Tony's, drive 16 and a half hours to Virginia. God damn. And then do the show. Drive 16 and a half back, 19 back. So it's like damn. almost 75 hours and five days of driving. No thanks. Well, it's Memorial Day weekend, so the flights are like two grand or more right now. Oh my so god. So we're like, you know, it's $300 to get there. We're just gonna drive and still gas. Like, oh my right, god. We're doing that. A little bit of suffering. We got it. That's a brutal one, yeah. And then after that, it's almost... Portsmouth, back West Virginia. Back. Yeah. Pennsylvania, West Virginia, where? West or Virginia. 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 Regular Virginia. Regular Virginia. Is there an East Virginia, or there's just Virginia and then West Virginia? I think it's just West Virginia. Oh, I have yeah. no idea. I want to buy West a map. West Virginia? I want uh, to buy a map. I need one of those globes again. Like a globetrotter. Harlem yeah. globetrotter. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's it. And on that note, like I said, this is Out at the Pile with Ryan and friends. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Check out our other videos. It's mostly motorcycle shit, stunt riding, wiling out, BMX, trucks, whatever. CruiseOriginals.com. We got everything. Lino Giannotti on Instagram. Check him out. Don't forget. We out. Peace. <laughs>